Hello and welcome to another Stretch, Balance and Restore exercise today. My name is Austin here with the Olivia Fitness team. And today you'll need a mat plus a little bit of water. And always remember, talk to your doctor before starting any exercise routine. So first we're just gonna start with some nice muscle activation. So just going to go here and that's it. Step it in, raise your knee nice and tall, as high as you can. Nice and slow, getting that warm up built in here. So we're gonna start with our left leg, as you can see here, just rocking into it. And as you're feeling more and more comfortable, try to get a little higher and higher. During this exercise a routine here, you might need a chair to hold your balance, but, or you can use a handy dandy wall. Totally up to you how you want to do it. So we're here standing, okay. We'll do this for another 30 seconds here. Go a little bit faster if you want. Try to get your knee a little bit taller if you can. Try again, nice and loosened up. Go. Good job. Keep rocking and rolling. All right, just a little bit longer on this leg, then we'll switch. Five seconds. Two, one. Go ahead and switch legs. Keep going. Ah, this cardio stuff is not always the most fun, but it does get your body ready to go. Besides, a lot of things we'll be doing today requires leg movement. So it's important to do these kind of exercises. Be here for well, just a few more seconds. About 15 here to go. Try to get a little bit higher if you can, a little bit faster if you need it. If you're feeling nice and loose. Three, two, one. Go ahead and rest. All right. All right. Now we're going to work on some balance stuff here. First one's gonna be a quad pull here. So what we're gonna do is grab your ankle or top of your foot here and just pull back to the field stretch in the front of your leg. And if you need to, you can grab a chair for some stability, a little bit extra balance. And we won't be on the mat today, so you're probably thinking, okay, what do I need the mat for? Well. It creates a slightly unstable surface, so it makes you work on those balance muscles a little bit in a safe environment. So that's why I, uh, why I like using a mat for these kind of exercises. It just gives you a teeny bit of instability, but in a controlled environment. As you can see, I have to go back and forth, back and forth, keep finding my balance. And that's because the mat create, created this unstable environment. And that's what we're looking for. Now keep practicing, keep working those balance muscles. All right, just a little bit longer here, guys, and then we'll switch legs. Nice and slow, shake it out. Go ahead. When you're ready, switch your legs here. There we 
go. Ooh, I can really feel that in my right leg. Maybe should have spent a little more time uh, warming that side up here. bit longer here. Whoop. Catch myself. All right, go ahead. Put your leg down, shake it out. All right. Now we're going to go into toe touch and halfway lift. So this one won't require as much balance, but it'll work on a lot of those posterior muscles that we require for balance. So put your feet shoulder width apart. And then what you're going to do is go down just either above or below your knee and press. What that's going to do is you're going to feel that stretch in your back and in the back of your legs. So just getting a nice stretch there. Again, putting some weight below your knee or above your knee, not on the knee. And once you feel ready, what we're gonna do is we're gonna bend our knees slightly until you can grab your toes and lift up with the back of your legs. That's gonna create a bigger stretch. So once you feel loosened up enough to do that, go for it. And again, you can bend your knees as much as you need to and so you can grab your toes, and then you lift up with your butt to get that nice stretch in your back and in the back of your legs. Here about 30 more seconds. So get comfy, try to get a nice good stretch in here. All right, go ahead and let go. Come up nice and slow again. Never quick out of these big stretches. That's how you can pull a muscle. So go ahead, flex around, move around, loosen up, roll it out. Get ready for the next stretch. So the next one here, I'm gonna do a nice wall sit. So just go against the wall here. Bring our knees down as high as we can. Some of us might have to go a little higher up to hold it long enough, and that's okay. We're just working with what's gonna be a challenge for you. So we're gonna be here for about a minute. So keep that in mind as you pick a spot. And if you need to, you can adjust. So you need it more difficult, you can go lower into that sitting position. If you need to go higher, you can definitely go higher. And I'm already in that tough position for me here. 
I'm not a big wall sick guy, so this might not uh, go well for me, but we're gonna we're gonna give it a shot. I'm gonna be here for about a minute longer. So get comfy, you might have to adjust and that's okay. Fifteen seconds. <sighs> All right, come on up. You can use your weight, your hands to push yourself off the wall. <sighs> and shake it out. <sighs> Should be feeling that a lot in your legs there. Perfect. All right, next thing we're gonna do, nice big hip rolls here, or leg rolls. So what that means is we're gonna bring one leg up, over to the side, and down. So up in front, off to the side, then back down. So we're gonna do that 12 times each leg. And if you need to, you can grab a chair for stability. We're gonna try not to though, since this is a balance test here. We're going to have our hand hovering about the, above the chair and grab it when we need it. One. So again, you're doing 12 each leg. Two. Try to get as high as it can. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. All right, go ahead and switch legs. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Oh, all right. Now what we're going to do is switch directions. So we're going to raise up to our side, roll it all over back to the front. Twelve each leg. Go ahead and start. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Well, go ahead and switch. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. All right, shake it out. Now we'll do a little couple upper body stuff here. One is gonna be wall angels. Probably sick and tired of me saying those things, but it's something we gotta do. We need that back strength and again, a great posture muscle and an excellent, excellent balance muscle to have. So, if you're not familiar with all angels, you want to be up against a wall. 
arms as close to the wall as possible and you want to bring it above your head and back down. If you do them properly, you should feel a stretch all the way from your bottom back all the way to the top. So you want your back completely against the wall as you do this. So some of you, instead of your wall, your arms being completely against the wall, your arms are going to be more here. And that's okay. What we want is that back activation. So that might mean your arms are further off the wall in order to activate your back better. And that's okay. So we're shooting for 15 of these. So go ahead and start. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Eleven. Twelve. Thirteen. Fourteen. Fifteen. All right. Great job. You might gotta shake it out a little bit, and that's a okay. All right. Next step. Old Namaste. So go ahead and press your hands together. Bring as you press your palms and your fingertips together. Push your elbows up. Bring those palms down. Get that big stretch in your forearms and your wrists. You want to try to keep your palms and fingertips touching full there. There you go. Try to get this nice big stretch. This is a big one. People forget how important it is to stretch out your forearms and your wrists. With how much we do typing, texting these days, those forearm muscles get very strained. And stretching them out like this makes it easier on them, gives them a little relief. Really important for our modern day lives here. do now is we're going to do forward arm rolls, 10 one way, and 10 back to finish out the day. So go ahead and get started. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, Ten. Go ahead and go backwards. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Great job today, team. Thank you for joining me today for another stretch restore and balance workout today. I greatly appreciate you joining me today. If you have any questions, please email us at fitness at We look forward to seeing you next time.